Just tell jQuery UI you don't need to go get jQuery first. They come bundled together on the jQuery UI website. The first thing you want to do is go to jQueryUI.com. First navigate to the themes. Now once you're in the themes, you're going to want to navigate to the gallery. There's a lot of options here, so you'll want to take your time and find the theme that fits the best with your website. For this demo, I'm going to use the smoothness theme. So you'll click the download button. This will take you to a download builder page. We are going to leave all the defaults checked and just scroll to the bottom of the page and click download. So let's extract the files and take a look. So this comes with a CSS folder and a JS folder with JavaScript in it. So let's start with the CSS. The CSS will come with a directory that's named with the theme that you chose. So in the CSS folder, you're going to get an images directory. Now some of this is going to be subject to preference, but here's what I recommend. You have two style sheets here. One is full and one is minified. If you don't know what minification is, I'll show you real quick. So this is a normal style sheet that you're used to looking at. It's formatted real nice. And here's a minified version of the style sheet. Basically, it's just really condensed all the white spaces taken out of it. And it loads much faster in the browser. Minification is recommended for page performance of your website. So keep the unminified version if you think you're going to heavily modify the styles, but otherwise just use the .min.css version. I recommend that you rename the jQuery dash UI dash version number dot custom dot min dot CSS just to jQuery dash UI dot CSS. I say this because at some point as the world changes and browsers update, you're going to want to upgrade your jQuery files. If you remove the versioning, you can still tell the version from the file at any time and still be able to sanely replace the files with newer ones without having to change every reference to the files in your HTML. Okay, so I'm going to use the minified version. And like I said, I'm going to rename it to jQuery-UI.CSS. I'm going to go ahead and take that and the images folder. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste that into my styles directory. I've got the jQuery-UI.CSS and I have all of the UI images. I'm going to head over to my index.html page and I'm going to add a reference to the jQuery UI style sheet. So remember we put it in the styles directory and we named it jQuery-UI.CSS. Going to save that. And so you might be thinking, how do I know that that worked? Well, go out to your website. And here we are on mine. Refresh the page and view the source. And you can see it's there. Not only do you want to see that it's there, but you want to make sure it's not a broken link because maybe you typoed something. Click on it. And there we have it. There's the style sheet. So the next thing that we want to add is the JavaScript. So I'm going to go back out and I'm going to go to the scripts directory. And I'm going back to the download. I'm going to go into the JS directory of the download. And just like the style sheet, I'm going to take the minified version of the jQuery UI library and I'm going to rename it to jQuery-UI.js. And just like, if you're curious, just like with the style sheet, the minified version will look similar. It's just condensed with a white space removed and it loads much faster in the browser. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the jQuery.js core library. So the two JavaScript files that are required for the jQuery UI install are the core jQuery.js and the jQuery-UI.js file. So I'm going to take these two and I'm going to copy them. And once again, I'm in the scripts directory of my website. I'm going to paste them in here. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to install this on my index.html page because I don't have a master template file or a template file. I am going to have to add it individually to each one of my HTML pages, but we'll just start with the index page. 
So script source equals scripts jQuery.js. There we go. So the first thing that's required here is the jQuery.js core library. That reference needs to come before your jQuery-UI.js file, or it won't load properly. So now I'm going to add the jQuery UI one. And I'm going to save that. And let's go out to my index.html page and see that it worked. So I'm going to refresh the page. I'm going to view the page source. And there we have it. I can see that they're there. Let's make sure that they load. And that's correct. Now let's check on the jQuery.UI one. And that's correct. And there we have it. jQuery and jQuery UI are properly installed.